Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Rose Tarot. It's your girl Rose, and I am here to do another Twin Flame energy reading for you guys. I hope everybody is doing well. Shout out to all the subscribers. I truly, truly love and appreciate you guys. Oh man, I missed you, missed you, missed you. I know I haven't been here in a while. Your girl's been gone. I've had graduation and all types of stuff in the past week, so I do, um, do apologize for leaving you guys like that. But let's get into this. Let's see how you guys have been. I hope everybody's been doing well. Missed you guys. Dang. I feel like I ain't been around in about two damn weeks. <laughs> let's see what's up. Oh, we got hope here. And choose wisely. It seems like somebody's got some choices here to make and pertaining. I don't know what this is pertaining to. So you have the number seven here. So a lot of knowledge. You found out something. You're learning something. And it's pertaining to your twin flame. Okay. You guys are making me work soon as I start today. All right. <laughs> so what's going on here? What's going on with the Six of Cups? This is usually nostalgia. This is usually your twin flame. Um, maybe you're having some type of hope with choosing this person. Not at all. This person is around you. You got too many temptations and choose wisely here twice. So what is going on, y'all? Somebody's regretful and depressed and somebody is stalking. Y'all got somebody regretful and depressed and they're stalking you at the same time? Who is this? And they're a sociopath, whoever they are. Whoever this person is, they have too many choices. Now I'm understanding this hope uh, in this six of cups. I think your person is hoping that you come back. Um, I have choose wisely here in the middle. It, it looks crazy because I got regretful, depressed, stalker, too many options, too many temptations, mentally unstable, no conscience. This person mishandled the hell out of you because they had too many, too many options. Too many people wanted to be in their presence. And so instead of them choosing wisely, they decided to choose the lower vibrations rather than their six of cups, which was right here. Um, tell me more about what's going on here, spirit. What's going on? You are standing your ground, whoever you are, because you feel enlightened. You could be a fire sign as well. You're standing your ground because you know your self-growth is more important than this person's love at this time. You have moved on. <laughs> All I hear is that Tony Braxton song, moving on. You are done. I think you kind of finally see this person for who the hell they are. Finally see them for who they are. Um, and you want nothing to do with this love that they're offering you. Why is this person offering this at this time, Spirit? What's happening? What shifted here that this person is now offering this? You shifted. Um, you became Queen of Swords on this. this. Whoever this is for you, they want to give you what you was asking for before. Now, because they see that you're strong, they see that you know where you're going in life, and so now they want to hitch their ride to your wagon type of thing. The Seven of Swords is here. This person is sneaky and, and deceitful. The only reason they want to be around is because of what you bring. You have the hangman here in reverse, meaning this person is not going to sacrifice anything. They're just going to make it look like that. Like this person could, maybe when you guys were out and about, you know, claimed you to people, oh, that's my girl, or that's my guy, da 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 da, da. you know, made a, a big show when they were around people, but when it came to just the two of you, they weren't willing to be all in, like, they never fell all the way into this relationship, they are truly regretful and depressed about the way that they treated you, um, I have it twice, they are regretful and depressed, um, they feel like, <sighs> they feel like they fucked their life up by doing that. Like, they really feel like this is a no-win situation. You're not allowing them in. They're also watching you, Divine Feminine. They're watching you because they're trying to study you. They're trying to understand how to get back into your good graces. They're trying to figure out who you are now that you've had this new self-growth. And they can't get in. Five of Wands, you've got them completely blocked. Here you are, Nine of Wands. You're standing your ground. You're not allowing anybody into your neg into your energy negatively. If this person is coming with a hidden agenda, if they're coming with uh, leading with self, you want nothing to do with them. You're actually working on building something else here. What is this? 
you have a new opportunity here. You actually might be messing with somebody else, Divine Feminine. That's what the hell I'm talking about. Yes, let's go. So this is old news. This person wants you back, though. So there's somebody here for you. What's 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 going on here? You don't want to take the chance. You're waiting on this, but you don't want to take the chance because of fear of what happened with this person. Um, there's something here though for you. There's something he, you. Well, okay, there's somebody's around you. Okay, somebody's around you. This person is caught blocking the shit out of you. Okay, so stop picking up this person's fucking phone calls. Stop texting them back. Stop doing all of that because when you do it, you energetically keep giving back to this person and there's something going on here. But I got two of cups in reverse. It's kind of like you're not really accepting it or something. Maybe this person doesn't give you that same draw that this person did. Something is missing here that you're not taking a chance because I got four of wands, queen of cups. What's going on with this four of wands and queen of cups here, spirit? Holding on to. Wow, you could be a Leo as well. Um, you're holding on to your strength. I think you just don't want anything to do with relationships right now, honey. I don't think you want anything to do with it. Okay, well, she don't want shit to do with it. We ain't gonna talk about it no more. Yeah, this is too much. Three of swords. It's too much. I think you just at that point in your life where you're like, you know what? I need a fucking break. I need a fucking break from this love shit. What does this divine feminine want? What does she want? Ooh, rebirth. Death. She wants this to end. She wants the hurt to end. You want this to be over. Um, I want you to... I don't want you to look at everybody like, oh, yeah, you're looking at all relationships like fucking burdens right now. What's up, man? Talk to me. Like, all the relationships are burdens to you right now. You're like, you know what? I don't feel like getting to know this fucking person right now. I just don't have it in me. I don't have it in me for another breakup. I don't have it in me for all this shit. Like, I really don't want nothing to do with this, you know? Um, <laughs> and I get it. You know what I'm saying? I truly understand. What is this person manifesting spirit? What are they trying to manifest right now? Because she's, she's kind of all over the place. Um... It's like you're trying to turn the wheel on this type of fate for yourself. You know what I mean? Like you don't want the fate for yourself to be that you're going to be alone or that you're going to feel this way or feel like you don't want to be in relationships. You kind of want to turn the page on this already. I think you're trying to bring in somebody new here, but it's like, are you going to give them a chance if spirit puts them in front of you is the question. Because when I look at this over here, you don't seem to be very interested due to things that happened in the past. Um, because here he is. I'm like, girl, what's up? Are you going to take the chance or not? Somebody is here for you. They want to try. Listen, just experience. It's just an experience. Nobody's telling you that this is going to be your twin flame again. Who the hell wants another twin flame situation? You know, it, it, listen, it's summertime. Go out. Let somebody take you out. Let somebody tell you that you're beautiful. Let somebody... You know, um, make you feel special, make you feel wanted. You need that. You haven't had that in so freaking long. Like, why are you holding yourself back? Um, Page of Cups, somebody's still watching you. Page of Wands, somebody's really watching you. Um, probably your ex, more than likely here. Um, somebody that has to take accountability for their actions. So, absolutely, your ex is still watching you. But you don't let that stop you, regardless. You know what I mean? There are other suitors here that want that want to uh, see what's up. I got two people here, King of Swords, somebody here that's very, um, I want to say, very precise. This is a mature person. They know what they want. They just, they don't have the same flow as like a fire sign. You know what I mean? Like this person's not going to be so passionate and fiery as soon as you meet them. But I would say you got two situ situations here. There be a three where it looks like two new energies here for you that maybe if they're not already here, they're coming this summer. And it's kind of up to you to decide if you want to give these people a chance or not. I got Ace of Cups here and I got a Knight of Cups here. It's like somebody wants to offer something to you, but it's going to be up to you to open your heart and see what it is that you want. Maybe, you, maybe that's what it is too. Maybe you're not sure anymore what it is that you even want balance is here there's a there's something 
there's a balance that's required in your relationships at this point. Like there's, there's something here is new beginnings, but there's also a difference in the balance. This other type of relationship that you were in, in the past where this person put you had, you know, disrespected you, cheated on you, did all those things. There was no balance. You know, you got to take your own accountability and understand that you got to change the station. Now you can't look for the same type of person and expect a different outcome. Look for something else. Get out of this pool. This pool of this particular person, you're going to keep running into them over and over again. Get out of that pool and jump into another one. Base chakra is here. <laughs> and one, one, one. All of these new beginnings. There's a fire here. There's like, I want to say balance yourself because you're grounded already. But more so balance yourself and trust that you're already grounded when these new people come along. They're not going to sweep you away where you're going to get carried off and you're going to carry away like you did with this person. You've learned. So trust your own instincts. Take a chance. You're actually okay. Okay? Nobody can break you this time around. Triumphant success. Come on, y'all. We got one, 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 one. New beginning, new beginning, new beginning, new beginning. How many times can I say this for you? You've got new beginnings. Spirit listened to you. Spirit was like, hey, let's put some new, new, new blood in her face. See what she do. You know what I mean? But remember, trust yourself. You're grounded. You have balance. You know better. These are new beginnings that keep being put in your face. So it's kind of like you need to start opening your eyes and looking around. If you're seeing the number 1111, this is literally your message. There's a new beginning in front of you. That's a triumphant success that you're balanced enough to be able to move forward with. You have to take the chance. Truth is here. Stand in your truth. Standing in your truth is going to bring you all of these new beginnings. So it's kind of, you know, you guys got to get up, get out, do it. Don't be afraid. Don't hold on to old shit from old people in their bullshit. Just get out there. Get out there. You know, not everybody is going to screw you over. Not everybody's here for that. You know, this person was, but not everybody's here for that. Trust, again, trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Trust, Divine Feminine. Trust right now, okay? I feel like whoever this is. <laughs> I feel, you know, us Divine Feminines, we go through the same shit at the same time. I promise you. I feel like whoever this is, is an older gentleman for you. It's an older, it's, it's, it's a different, it's a different flow and you don't really know what to do yet. Um, if this person isn't already there, they will be. Uh, and then you're going to have another choice. You're going to have an older, mature man here. And then you got some young cat here that also wants to do something. So you got some choices here. However, I'm going to tell you with this young cat, you already see the burdens. You already see the burdens with this motherfucker. You already looking like, oh, Jesus, how old is he? Yeah. So, you know, if, if you're going to go this route, this is the hot girl summer route. This is just, you know, you're in and you're out of there. Okay? But this one? This one is a little different. This one's a little more mature. This one, this is the one that wants to, you know, um, take you out all the time. This is the one that wants to spend that money. This is the one that wants to, you know, make you feel beautiful. This is the one that wants to give you all of these compliments. This is the one that, you know, is giving you the love and the respect that you deserve. Okay? So you've got some choices here. You got some choices. Children. Your love life is being affected by children right now. Forgiving and learning is here as well. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. You may have children with this person that did you dirty. You may. Um, but it's like Spirit is telling you, why are you... If this is the heartstrings that this person is pulling on to energetically bring you back, don't allow them to do that. All you got to do is co-parent with this person. You don't owe them shit. That's all you have to do is be a parent. Why do you feel like you owe them anything? You know, you're holding yourself back here. If you're not happy, trust me, your children aren't happy. All right? So you need to start putting your happiness. You need to start putting your own happiness forward. Hope is here. Put your own happiness forward for the first time. Divine feminine, you're always making everybody else happy. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life right now. Okay? This is worth waiting for. What you don't see coming is passion. What you don't see coming is passion, girl. What you don't see coming. All right, so you got to let go of some control issues here, though, okay? You got to let go of some shit because you're standing in your own way at this point. If the spirit's putting these people in front of you, you can't be swatting them away like they flies, okay? You got to you gotta get, get in and trust the situation and just give yourself time, all right? It's time for you to disconnect from the world. 
All right, it's time for you to like disconnect from the 3D for a little while. Get into the 5D, you know, get into your imagination. Have fun. Think about, you know, don't be so quick to think about this person is going to do you dirty or, or the games that you have to play or the manipulation or the mind feels and all that. Just have fun when you're around these two people, okay? I don't know if you're doing, I don't know if you're around both of them at the same time, girl, but whoever you're around, just have fun and experience them, okay? Playfulness. Just have fun and experience them, please. That's all you have to do. That's it. That's all that's required. I'm going to take one more card for you, and that's it. It looks like right now, take a chance on new love, honey. Let, let this old shit die. That's what you wanted anyway. Remember? You fooled death. You wanted this shit to end, okay? So let it. This person could be a Capricorn as well, um, but let it die. If it's going to die, let this shit die. Don't worry about it. Like, literally, let it die. <clears throat> Or Scorpio. <laughs> That's probably who this is. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Walking away is here. <sighs> leave this in the past, okay? You left it in the past, leave it in the past. You're, you're energetically bringing yourself back to this shit show of a situation when new people are coming around. Don't do that. It counts you out when you do that, okay? Um, don't lead the conversation with the new person talking about your ex. Do not talk about your ex on a date. Nobody wants to hear about that shit, okay? You need to be playful. You need to be like, you know, just jovial. You know what I mean? Like, don't, don't bring the mood down with what everything that this person did with this Three of Swords here. You know what I mean? Yeah, they may want to hear your story a little bit here, a little bit about your past. Wrap that shit up with a yada, yada, yada and moving on, okay? Don't sit there for 20 minutes talking about how this man did you dirty, okay? Because that will turn people off and it will turn you off as well because you'll automatically start bringing yourself back to this vibration rather than keeping yourself on a high vibration with these new people, okay? Yin and yang, you're balanced enough. You are balanced enough to get out there and start a new relationship. Get out there and start and start meeting new people. Get out there. I'm not bringing this yin and yang to no twin flame shit. This is you. This is you being balanced. This is you being balanced in your feminine and your masculine energy. Trust yourself, okay? This time around, they can't manipulate you as easy. This time around, you're guarded. You've protected yourself. This time around, you know when not to, you know when to get up from the damn table. How about that? Okay, so trust yourself and trust your instincts, Divine Feminine. You got this, all right? I hope that resonated with you guys. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.